I wish that unimaginative man could read the eight and a half thousand answers that immediately follow his on my laptop. Answering that question in what I would say was too much detail, here's just a few of them for you. In a shampoo bottle, in a milk bottle, in a glass of wine. I believe that's what's known in the trade as a cock over. <laughs> Raw steak. Jelly spooned into a toilet roll. <laughs> no, I don't know about you, Edinburgh. What particularly delights me about that answer is that the jelly is very specifically spooned in. Right? You, can't, you can't pour in, just be sure it's set. Don't be ridiculous, mate. The consistency would be all wrong. You can't scoop it in with your hands. I mean, you wouldn't want to get jelly all over your fingers, would you? Ugh, that'd be awful. You have to spoon it in with a spoon. The more I do this bit, the more I'm getting a very clear mental image of the bloke actually doing. I think he works quite methodically, slowly, he's slightly hunched. He's been doing this so many years. There's a look of anticipation on his face. No, wait, wait. It's frustration. He's been waiting a while for that jelly to set. Oh, he's going to show that jelly the daddy is now. In a hoover. Well, of course, in a hoover, we've all done that. That is normal. <laughs> Between the mattress and the metal frame of the bed comes up an astonishing amount, I can't tell you. Through a hole in the fence. Everyone needs good neighbours. Watch out for splinters. In my sister-in-law. <laughs> There's always one person who applauds that. Uh, <laughs> Lou Rolls, not very good. Well, of course not, mate. You forgot to fill him with jelly, didn't you? Schoolboy, with a spoon? Oh, what have you done? You've contaminated that jelly with that ladle now. The pieces are too big. Gonna have to make a whole new batch of whorish jelly. <laughs> In the top of a novelty shaped bubble bath, it was shaped like the children's character Noddy. <laughs> If that additional information in parentheses somehow excuses his behaviour. He was staring at me with his big eyes, his bell. What normal man could resist? It makes it worse than his noddy. He's a little boy. Leave him alone. Biggie is fair enough. He's, he's over the age of consent. He's into that kind of dirty stuff. He's very experimental. That's how he ended up with the big ears. <laughs> uh, in the back of a folding metal chair. Uh, dangerous, but not as dangerous as inside a car exhaust pipe. I'm picturing the car moving at the time. In a child's buoyancy aid. Eh? That's an armband. I'm just hoping to God there wasn't a child in that at the time. In a hollowed out cucumber. What kind of a world are we living in where a man is so desperate for sexual release? He'll, was there nothing else in the room more suitable? I mean, it, if you were alone in a room with a cucumber and you were horny, you'd stick it up your ass, wouldn't you? Wouldn't it? Hull is fragile enough and it's got his filling inside. A sick world is the answer to my question. In a fat Irish ginger bird in Benidorm. She had a Brazilian that looked like a fish finger. I won a bottle of Malibu for that. Who is it who's handing out bottles of Malibu for having sex with ginger girls? Because I tell you, I'm up, I'm up for that's a win-win situation. Here in Scotland for a month, I could bathe in Malibu. Well, yeah. <laughs> Everywhere I can think of without hurting it, by which I think he means his penis rather than the receptacle, I wonder if he'd risk his in a food mixer. In the bottom of a vosine bottle, neatly cut off and mould over the kitchen stove with a little soap for lubricants. <laughs> now that's not one you just chance across that one, is it? You don't, you don't trip and fall onto one of those. That's years of experimentation leading what I'm guessing is the perfect synthesis of the vagina. If that news gets out, girls, you could become obsolete. <laughs> Buy some shares in vosine, though, you'll be sitting pretty. This is my favourite. Uh, under a PlayStation controller with the rumble function switched on. <laughs> whilst driving over the muddy bits on Conor McRae's rally. <laughs> Sounds like a euphemism. It isn't a euphemism. It should be a euphemism. I think that's a fitting tribute to the life of Colin McRae. <laughs> Perhaps most worryingly for me, rubbed against my computer screen whilst filling in this questionnaire. <laughs> I could go on. There are thousands more. I'm going to spare you the terrible details of what I've had to endure on your behalf. I have stared in... 